The summer of 2021 was one of the driest on record, with many parts of Siouxland under severe drought conditions for months. KCAU 9's Dylan Adams tells us if the late August rains have changed the forecast for our crop yields. Earlier this summer, owner of Barnes Hay and Feed, John Marquardt, told me they'd be lucky to get a third cutting of alfalfa from his fields due to the intense drought. But thanks to some late rain, hay yields are looking better. Alfalfa has gotten a little better as far as supply. We're not quite as, as critically short as we were. Um, we got some late, late rains that helped a lot um, the, as far as forage side of it. Rick Bai is the co-owner of Green Meadows Forage in Gayville, South Dakota. They specialize in making premium quality animal feed designed for show animals like equine and swine. They're best known for their autopilot and equal balance products that can be found at ag dealers nationwide. Bai explained that the drought has impacted alfalfa yields some, but that other crops are in even worse shape. Alfalfa is a little more residual. We can water it, different things like that. Um, but the biggest thing in the Midwest here is the drought has been like for oats and barley. Is, is, is unbelievable, they're critically short. He says that oats and barley prices may be up more than 100% from last year, largely due to the extremely dry climate where it's produced the most, Montana, Wyoming, and Canada, where wildfires have ravaged crops. He explained other factors that have caused the ag markets to soar. The world's turned upside down, but it, it's just like the perfect storm. We got a drought with with this, you know, the, the issues that are going on in the country. And because parts of Siouxland didn't see any rainfall for weeks over the summer, Bai has had to import grasses from well outside the region to keep up with his product's demand. We're farming, we're trying to raise what we grow, but, you know, we've not been able to get the much grasses. I've went all the way to the other side of uh, Montana to get some hay to ship in. Freight's incredible. Um, normally we have people raise for us, and the people that raise for us are dry also. Bai says that animal feed costs will be up for a while due to the grass shortages this summer, but that certain commodities in the markets are reducing back to their average price. Dylan Adams, KCAU 9 News.